Hello and welcome to another Bronte video. So, got myself a cup of tea. It's I'm staying in Howard at the moment, and yes, I do seem to match the sofa. I don't quite know how that happened. It was not intentional. And um, I'm staying in a little flat above Spooks, the shop down Main Street, um, near the Fleece, opposite the Fleece. And I've been here today and I've walked around and my feet are absolutely worn out and it's started to rain, it's getting dark, it's getting chilly and I thought right, time to come back, grab a cup of tea, curl up on the sofa and I thought I would have a little chat. So over the last five, six months I've been making YouTube videos, I've had obviously a few comments about me as a person and who am I and where did I come from and why do I make videos and all these sorts of things. So I thought in today's video we will sit down because it's a bit miserable out and we will have a cup of tea and we'll have a chat and I've printed out some of the questions that you guys have been asking me and I thought I would answer them as honestly as I can, obviously within reason. <laughs> So, get yourself a brew, get snuggled down, get comfy, and let's have a chat. So, tea. I went through all your comments on YouTube over the last few months and I've collected up a list of questions and by the magic of television, I have a list. And I have a few questions here and this is things you've been asking me. So question number one is, who are you? Good question. So for you guys out there that don't already know me, my name is Kate. Um, I am a, I am just a normal person. Um, I have no degrees or any qualifications in the Bronte. I am no scholar or professor or anything like that. I am just a Bronte fan. And I live here in Yorkshire with my husband and my daughter, a dog who I think you might have seen in some of the videos and called Frank and a cat called Ziggy, who you have also might have seen in videos. Um, and that is me, basically. So the next question, which is, where did your Bronte love start? Well, when I was at school, I remember one English lesson, I was given the job of collecting the books up after the lesson and popping them back into one of these sort of like metal wardrobes. And when I was in there slotting them back into place, I saw the spine of another book and it looked quite, quite interesting. So I pulled it out and had a look and it was Jane Eyre. And I'd never read it at this point. Um, I didn't know anything about it, but I was intrigued by it. So. I asked my teacher, when are we going to read this book? And he said, next year, next year, promise next year. So when the September came round, started a new school year, I was really excited and hoped finally we're going to read this book because I loved the cover. It seemed really intriguing. I thought, oh, this looks good. And what happened? We didn't read it. We ended up reading Of Mice and Men instead. So I was a bit disappointed. So I went out and found this book myself in the school library. And during reading time, which I think was just an excuse for the teachers to have a, an extra long coffee and probably a cigarette break, because that's what they did at the time, I started Jane Eyre. Um, I was absolutely blown away. It was not like all the stuff that we'd been told to read before. It was nothing like I'd seen before. And I loved it. 
And since then, obviously, I've reread it about a hundred times, and I've watched the film, and I found out more, and then I got interested in the sisters themselves, the writers, Bronte sisters, and then it just grew and grew and grew from there. Really, it came to its peak when I moved to Yorkshire about fourteen, fifteen years ago, and my husband was trying to convince me to move to Yorkshire. He is a Yorkshire man himself. He took me around all these beauty spots around Yorkshire. And saying, you know, if you moved here, there's this on your doorstep, there's that on your doorstep. And one of the places he brought me was Haworth. And so it was, yeah, it was one of the reasons I wanted to move to Yorkshire. <laughs> but I, I was just blown away by it. And yeah, that's where it all started. Right, so next question. It is, what is your favourite book? <sighs> Obviously, Bronte book. That's a tricky one. Um, I very much believe at different times you need a different book. Um, and, of course, Jane Eyre was my first favourite because that was my first read you know, of the Bronte sisters. But recently, I'm going to say it's, Tenant of Wildfowl Hall by Anne Bronte because I read it, reread re it recently and saw it in a completely different light. When I read it as a teenager, I could not understand Helen. I'm not going to do any um, spoilers, but the main character, Helen, I couldn't understand why she did what she did, why she was the way she was, why she treated her son the way she did. I just didn't understand it. I think I wasn't mature enough. I don't know, but I didn't get the book at all. And then I reread it as a mum and as a wife and someone who's seen a bit more of life. And I was blown away by it. I could not believe that this young woman wrote this book who had of never experienced marriage or having children herself. And yet somehow she just got it. Um, obviously, there's some really difficult subjects within Wildfell Hall that kind of make your tummy turn a bit. But to me, it was just an amazing book and still is. So I'm going to put my hand up and say, Wildfowl Hall. <laughs> so next question is, who is your favorite sister? That's tricky. That's like asking the mother which one's her favourite children. You cannot do it. Um, again, different things from different people. I love the attitude of Emily. The whole, I'm going to be myself no matter what. I love that. I love her wild, not wild so much, but her want to be in the wild streak. You know, go out there, stomp on the moors, hair in the wind. Love that. I love Anne because of her loyalty and her belief. She really, really believed what was right and what was wrong. And I just, yeah, I love that. I love the fact that she was so sure what she knew was right and what she knew was wrong. I mean, as modern people, we are questioned all the time about what's right and wrong, and she just knew. Anyway, and Charlotte, because Obviously, a lot more novels, and I love that. That means we can, you know, constantly read them. But also, I think she had that determination that, yes, she was going to be a writer. Yes, she was going to make something of her life. Yes, she was going to, you know, aim high, and she did. And if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't know of any of the sisters at all because she was the one that pushed for publishing. So I don't think I can actually say there's, one particular sister that I love the most. They all have qualities that that I love. So, yeah, I'm, I can't put my, I cannot say one particular sister. Sorry about that. Right, next question. I've checked the paper so far. Uh, 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 why a YouTube video? 
Yes, well, <laughs> that was a strange one. I never actually intended to start a YouTube channel. It kind of just happened. Um, I've been contacted by a lovely lady in America, hello Anne in America, um, a while back who wanted me to get some photos for her while I was in Haworth for her book club. They were reading, I can't remember which one, I think it was Jane Eyre, and she wanted some pictures to talk so she could talk it through with the book club. And she said, if you're going to the parsonage, which I'd already mentioned on my social media I was, she said, could you get me a picture or two? So I grabbed a few pictures, I got a small video of the outside and I put it together in a montage sort of thing and put it up on a private YouTube channel so that she could share it with her book club. And I had a lovely email back saying, we loved it, you should go live with this, you should let everyone else see it. And I was like, no, 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 no one wants to see that. And then she came back to me a few months later asking for some more information, which luckily I had. And again, I made another video. And she said, do it. So I tried making one small video first, which was the one about the Anne Bronte's necklace. And I put that up. And I was very self-conscious. I was very embarrassed. I was very shy. I was very British about it. And I felt so awkward. And I didn't go back to it for another year until I suddenly decided, yeah, you should do this. I love making videos. I love editing. I love collecting photographs. I love researching. I love finding out all the information. Why not put it all together? Let's just see. And so I did. And then I don't really know what happened. <laughs> it went from one or two videos to a few more, to a few more followers, to a few more subscribers, to a few more likes. And before I knew it, I had quite a few followers. So it's just sort of taken off. I'm still getting used to this whole talking to camera. It's a bit weird. Um, I just imagine I'm either talking to friends or talking to myself, which I do a lot of. So <laughs> that makes it easier. Um, and so I started just making these videos and it gave me, gave me something to concentrate on. I'm not thinking about my family or work or things I must do or what I need to do and you know, what shopping I need to get, all those things as women of this age seem to carry around with us. When I'm concentrating on my videos, all I can think about is the subject that I'm looking into and how I'm gonna get a great shot and how am I gonna edit it and you know, what do I need to talk about? And so for me, it's been like a breath of fresh air. It's given me this sort of world away from being a mum, a wife, etc., and giving me something else to focus on. And I'm loving it. I am loving every minute of it. The people I meet, the places I go, the things I find out. I'm just having an absolute ball and to think people want to watch this, it's even better. It just blows my mind. Um, I'm having so much fun. And it, if it all fizzles out and no one really cares what I get up to, fine. I don't, I don't mind. I'm happy just making them. So, so yes, that's why I started a channel. Because if you didn't already know, I also have an online shop that I started during lockdown, which then made me make social media to promote my shop, which then gave me... What's that? That's the sink. It just started making a really weird noise. So I started doing social media to promote my shop and then I got to know lots of people that way. And that's how I met the lady that wanted me to do her video for a book club. So yeah, so if you want to see my shop, if you visit my website, which is the Bronte Sisters, all lowercase, .co.uk, and I have Bronte themed goodies. That's how I describe it, goodies. So, next question. <laughs> Is it true you named your daughter after Emily Bronte? Mm. Um, yeah, some of you have picked up that I have a daughter, and yes, she is called Emily. Um, 
well, put it this way. I didn't tell my husband that was why I liked the name. Whether he worked it out himself, I don't know. <laughs> but I've always liked the name and yeah, I got away with it. <laughs> no, he likes the name as well and he knows that I'm a Bronte enthusiast. So he probably worked it out why it was on the list of names. But yes, I do have an Emily. <laughs> Next question. Um, what's next for your channel and for me? So, well, I don't really know. I'm just carry on, carrying on having the best time I can, carry on doing things that interest me and carry on trying to be me. I'm not trying to be anyone I'm not. I know I'm the person that gets my words muddled up. I know I talk with my hands. I know I waffle on a lot. I know I make quite a few mistakes. But do you know what? I don't care. Um, my plan is to maybe go and see some other locations that have not really been visited much. I'd love to do that. I'd love to be able to get into some of these private houses and have a look around. Um, I'd love that. I might look into that a bit more this year. I want to look more into the sisters and their life. I love the whole social history side of it which the cost of living video was a part of that. And I've got a few coming up, which are similar. Um, and for me, just going to carry on doing it. So sorry, that wasn't a very thorough answer, was it? Because it's very difficult for me to really know because I'm just living, living for the moment at the moment. <laughs> Shall I try not say um? I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Where'd that come from? A bit of brew. Oh, I think my foot's going to sleep. We'll try and ignore it. Right. Next question. Final question. What equipment do you use to make your videos? Um, <laughs> well, very simple. I use my mobile phone. I use a stand and I use a microphone. That is it. Um, I put the videos onto my laptop um, and my computer and I do editing on there. But I want to do it as easily and cheaply as possible because I am no professional. So I wouldn't know even how to work one of these complicated cameras. I have upgraded, you might have noticed, my microphone because the first one broke at the, want uh, the water, uh, the first one broke at the Bronte waterfalls when the wind blew everything over. Uh, the second one was absolutely rubbish. And every time I moved or the wind even slightly blew, it made a horrible noise and it was just awful quality. So I treated myself to a new microphone. Um, but other than that, nothing. It's all done on a budget because it's not about the equipment, it's about the content. And to me, that's the most important. So there you go. I'm gonna have to move my legs. Oh, my foot's gone to sleep. Ooh. So, thank you for watching today's video. I hope that answered some of your questions. Um, basically, I'm just a normal person. I have no special foot qualifications in the Brontes. I don't, haven't studied anything like that. Um, my background is nothing to do with English literature and the classic you know classic novels I'm just somebody that enjoys the the Brontes work I enjoy the books I am absolutely fascinated by their lives and I decided to do videos to share them so I hope 
I've answered some of your questions and yeah, then you know who I am now. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please check out some of my others. I've done lots of different um, topics over the last few months, but please do like the channel. I know I joke and do that whole likey, subscribe -y thing, but YouTube works out whether or not I'm any good at this by you guys and how often you like or how often you um, view or subscribe or things like that. So basically you're, you're in control. So every time you press a like on anyone's channel or subscribe, when I say it really does help me out, it really does because YouTube will look at what you're doing and make a decision of whether or not they should promote me with other people. So there you go. So please do the whole likey subscribey thing because it really does help me out. And yeah, I'm going to carry on doing YouTube videos, hopefully once a week. Maybe I might have to go down to once a fortnight as we get into Christmas and New Year and things like that. But we will see. I'm having an amazing time and I've got plenty of topics I want to talk about. So yeah, thank you for watching. And I will see you next Friday for more Bronte Adventures. Bye.